Hi, I'm Kerry, a support worker from the infant feeding support team in North Warwickshire in Eaton Bedworth and Rugby. Welcome to our video around day three. We just wanted to clarify a few things and hopefully normalise and give you some reassurance around what's going on in your baby's behaviour at the moment. So you're more than likely exhausted, feeling tiredness like you've never imagined. This is all quite overwhelming and you're probably wondering if things are going OK. So you're in need of lots of reassurance that your baby's actually getting breast milk and things are going as they should. So let's have a look at what is actually going on. When we look at what's going on around this time, it's no wonder parents feel overwhelmed. So your hormones are kicking in. You're probably experiencing the baby blues, which can make you feel quite tearful, sad and gloomy. It is normal and it should pass within a few days. Coupled with that, your milk is now starting to transition from colostrum to mature milk. This can cause your breast to feel quite tender and uncomfortable, and it can cause your baby to be quite frustrated when they're trying to latch on the breast because your breast is so firm. Your baby's probably cluster feeding, which can be interpreted as a feeding frenzy, and they're showing constant feeding cues. And these all have a reason, which we will look at shortly. Nighttime feeding is to be expected, lots of cluster feeding overnight, and more than likely they are only settling either in your arms or in very close contact with you. This time can feel really relentless. Don't worry, you will make it through the other side. But let's look at a few things that may help in the meantime. So practical support, partners, visitors, friends, family members, they can all help housework, washing, making meals, taking the baby for a few minutes so you can get a shower and get dressed and even brushing your teeth can feel like a luxury at the moment. So get that practical support. It can really help. Refer to your baby's red book. There's a breastfeeding assessment page near the beginning of the book. It's a really helpful little checklist to go through and can just reassure you that breastfeeding is going OK. There's also a really helpful little table in the bottom corner that tells you what wet and dirty nappies to look out for. And that can be a reassurance as well. Finding a sustainable feeding position that allows you to rest at the same time when you're feeding can be really useful, particularly during the night feeds when your baby's cluster feeding a lot. Side lying holds can be really, really useful at this point. If you are bringing your baby into the bed with you to feed them, familiarise yourself with the safe bed sharing guidelines on the Lullaby Trust. It's a great resource. You may find as well that lowering your expectations around this time, particularly to do with sleep and night times, can help you get through. Your baby has no natural carcadian rhythm at the moment, so they don't know the difference between day and night. So if you can get into that flow and, and just, just go with that rhythm and grab sleep whenever you can, regardless of whether it's day and night, that can really help as well. So your milk's transitioning also, as we've mentioned, and this can cause some mild breast engorgement. Not only is your milk increasing in quantity, there's also a lot of inflammation in your breast tissue and extra fluid as well due to hormonal responses at this point. So some things that might help over the counter anti-inflammatories. Cold compresses are really going to help take the swelling down in the breast tissue. Parents also report that they find warm compresses on the breast and warm showers are soothing. So find what works for you. Small amounts of hand expressing can help to soften the areola and the nipple area, making it easier for your baby to attach and hopefully less frustrated. Gentle tapping light motion with the pads of your fingertips can help disperse some of that extra fluid up into your armpit and hopefully soften the breast a little bit and take away some of that tenderness. Reverse pressure softening is also another technique that can help soften your breast. We have got another video that goes into that more in depth. And always carry on responsibly feeding your baby and offering the breast whenever they show the feeding cues. This is going to be the best self-help for both of you. Due to your baby's behaviours at this time and all the information that we've just gone through, it's easy to see why this is an overwhelming time because it all just comes at once and you may feel that you need more reassurance around breastfeeding and to know that it's going well. Around this time, it's very common for parents to feel that they need to offer their babies supplementary feeds that can either be formula in a bottle, express breast milk or even dummies. 
it's always best to seek some trained informed support and guidance before you offer these supplementary feeds. Ask lots of questions because offering these feeds at the moment can interrupt the natural cycle that you and your baby need to go through to ensure that you have a good ongoing milk supply for the future. If you're using online sources for information, make sure they're reputable. Some of the ones we would recommend are the Leche League, Breastfeeding Network, Association of Breastfeeding Mothers, NHS websites and Kelly Mom are all really useful. Trust yours and your baby's instincts. So know that your baby knows what they're doing and they're showing all these feeding cues for lots of reasons. And it's not always just because they're hungry. As we spoke about earlier, your baby's regulating all their emotional brain development and they need to build a relationship with you and feel love and trust between you both. And they get that from showing feeding cues, going to the breast often and having lots of lovely close contact with you. Moving forwards, utilise breastfeeding groups in your community, find out what's going on in your area and these groups can provide a lovely resource of reassurance and guidance moving forward in your breastfeeding journey.